So let's check to see if the split strategy will work in subtraction. What if we have 83 minus 67? Now, I know I can take 60 away from 80, but I really can't take 7 away from 3 unless I do some regrouping or do something different. So let's try this out. Separate both numbers in expanded form. So 83 would be equal to 80 plus 3. And 67 would be equal to 70, excuse me, 60 plus 7. So in addition strategy, what we would do is take our tens and we would um, add them together. Well, we have 80 and 60. Can we subtract those? We can. Let's try that. So 80 minus 60 would be one part of our equation. Now the other part, and this is important that we keep track, is that we have 3 minus 7. So let's write it down like this. 3 minus 7. Now, normally we think you can't, if you have 3, you can't take 7 away. However, is it possible that we could have 3, take 7 away, and end up with a number that's negative? So we know if 7 minus 3 is going to be equal to 4. We also know that if it's 3 degrees outside and the temperature drops 7 degrees, that we're going to go past 0 and we're going to have a negative number. We know that because we live in Minnesota. So 3 minus 7 is very similar to 7 minus 3, except our answer is negative. So we would go down from 3 to 2 to 1 to 0. That would be 3. And then we'd go down negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is where we would end up. So 7 minus 3 would be, or 3 minus 7 would be a negative 4. So let's think about that and the rest of our equation. 80 minus 60 would be 20. Now we have 20 and we have a negative 4. Well, negative 4 is like saying 20 minus 4. So let's try and bring that up here and think what is 20 minus 4? Well, we can count back 2 to get to 18 and 2 more to get to 16. So 20 minus 4 would be 16 which is our actual answer. We can check that by using our jumps on our number line. So we're going to start with 83 on this side, and we are going to jump back six tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these is going to be a jump of 10. So 83, 73, 63, 53, 43, 33, 23. Now we're going to have to jump back seven more. Oops, going to make my line a little bit longer. And I'm going to jump back seven. So I'm going to break seven up into three. So I'm going to subtract three first. To get to 20 and 3 plus 4 is 7 so I'm going to go back 4 more and 20 minus 4 is 16. So I can confirm that 83 minus 67 is 16. Whether I split and use a negative number or if I jump back on a subtraction number line.